one in almost 13 people, they are millionaires, right? So yeah, you can throw a rock and hit a millionaire over there in the Bay Yes, area. yes. <laughs> Have you seen that the we've got a ton of millionaires here in Texas? What's going on with that? I mean, that's you, normal, right? I just go outside on my house and it's like <laughs> one million today, one million today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Target rich environment. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, no, I, I think that I see it around. I, I go to this area to uh, it's called Woodlands. And it's just, uh, you see it around, like, uh, there is a lot of, and by the way, the woodlands is there's a lot of Hispanics, wealthy Hispanics. Uh, people, sometimes they just think that we just cut grass. <laughs> 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 it's like, no, bro, it's like we are, we own businesses, you know, we are techies, you know, like, uh, uh, it's like there, there is a lot of money, right? So, and, and you can see it on the woodlands. That's one of the areas where, um, uh, here in Houston, uh, there's a high concentration of Hispanics, a wealthy Hispanics. Yeah. So, and just in general, there. So, there was a uh, new report that came out that the U.S. actually has the most millionaires now, with uh, over five million, actually five million four hundred ninety-two thousand individuals uh, that are millionaires here within the U.S. And in Texas, there's three main cities that are in the top 10, which is, of course, you might guess Houston, Dallas, and Austin that has um, the most millionaires uh, in Texas. And uh, again, these three cities crack the top 10 in terms of the amount of millionaires um, uh, seen here in the U.S. So it's pretty interesting how there's this concentration. A lot of people, of course, might guess, you know, where the other top 10 are going to be, like kind of in the Northeast uh, New York area and then also in, in sure. the Bay Area. Um, so it's it's pretty interesting to see kind of all the concentration how it's being broken up into kind of these three main areas. Yeah, and I mean, Bay Area is... is... It's very pricey, the, the land. I was asking, like I said, I, I, I was over there uh, a week ago. Uh, they were telling me that it takes um, almost uh, 1200 bucks for one square foot. That's their mm -hmm. average. So it's, it's for very real pricey. Estate. Real estate. So yeah. if, you, if, you, if you see it, it's like if you have a closet, <laughs> it's like you put the bed there. It's like, man, it's, it, it is pricey. But I, I, <laughs> the, the stats are, are, are interesting. It's like a, one in almost 13 people, they are millionaires. Right, so yeah, you can throw a rock and hit a millionaire over there in the Bay yes, Area. Yes, and and <laughs> and again, maybe uh, a year ago that I went to Mikonos with the wife and kids, uh, the the tourist guy, he was telling us that uh, there is not a Mikonian that is poor, and I said, how come? It's like, well, all of the houses are uh, above one million dollars. So mm -hmm. if they truly are living there and they they are there, they, they are millionaires already. So you see that around in the world, right? Um, uh, you were mentioning Monaco, I think that was the other one. Yeah, Monaco, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so I think that um, it's good for Texas. I think that uh, um, let's we, we we will be and because some of these people they are doing businesses, and it creates a whole uh, dynamic, right? To be able to to get taxes, pay taxes, and all of that, right? So um, I, I think that is just good for the whole economy. Yeah, definitely. So it's it's just good to see kind of that the economics um, kind of keep going up. I mean, we see it all the time when we talk about it all the time. There's a lot of business coming to Texas, and it's obviously going to be within this Texas triangle. So uh, not unexpected, but very interesting to see nonetheless. Um, I think uh, we were trying to do some of the math, right? As in the Bay Area, you might see one in every 13 being a millionaire in Houston. Maybe it's closer to one in 40, one in 50, something like that. So uh, still uh, still, pretty, pretty, so pretty impressive uh, to be able to see that. Um, and I think it's pretty interesting. It means a, a lot of good things for businesses. A lot of businesses can start, grow, and thrive in these areas. I, I think that the, the tough part always is... Um the disparity on uh, how a small concentration has most of the wealth. And I think that that's where sometimes people get angry, right? Like, a, mm -hmm. uh, it's like, how come these people, they just get it, right? They get all of this high concentration. 
Uh, and I think that this, this is the type of ideas with that and technology. Uh, some of these people are thinking it's like, okay, just do a universal income. And and again, it's a very political uh, kind of thinking. But I, I, I feel that if you start having um, some Tesla robots, Optimus Primes in like restaurants and houses, mm -hmm. then you're going to literally have to fire a lot of people because... Once again, you have this robot that can do all of all of your chores at your house, or yeah. or maybe you don't need to pay someone to open the the store if it's a brick and mortar store. So, uh, what are you gonna do with all of these people that they don't have a skill set, right? So they, I really think that they, the program it should not be only for a universal income. I, I think that it should be also to uh, level up skill set, start teaching them other skills that uh, even to fix the robot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a good point. You need to open a robot repair shop. Maybe Radio Shack, Radio Shack can make a big comeback here uh, for that. But you know, it's very true, and uh, a lot of this is really is looming uh, because of the advent of AI. Right? AI is going to get to the point where you can stick the AI into a little robot body, and it's going to be able to do a lot of things. Right now, what you can pay, <clears throat> you can pay someone that a maid or something like that. They takes care of your house 40 grand a year or something like that if a robot only costs 25 grand i mean you're gonna likely buy that robot because that robot's gonna last you know you pay that once versus yeah. having to pay them probably only the main year and it's there 24 7 so uh you're gonna have to take a look at these things and see how it's gonna impact the economy that's why this universal income has uh taken a hold um, Andrew Yang in the last presidential election, you know, he wanted a universal basic income. So basically kind of a minimum, but Elon Musk recently has said, you know, we don't need a basic income. We need like a premium income uh, because it's not just going to be uh, kind of on the lower end of the market. It's going to be also professionals, knowledge workers, engineers, uh, project managers, uh, developers, software engineers, all of these people are also going to be affected by the same thing. So uh, I know, I know at work, we're already looking at how to use AI for project management. Like how can we do different things like that, work smarter, but eventually I, yeah, there's no reason why I can't do uh, my job. So I can see that. Um, and same thing with software development, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's heading in that direction. We, we thought that maybe AI will come for the, uh, the kind of the, the lower tier on that type, type of jobs. <laughs> but no, man, it went directly to like the highest tiers, right? <laughs> like, you know, for artists, uh, video production, programmers, right? And doctors too, right? So, uh, yes, it's going to be interesting in the next 10 years for sure. Yeah, definitely. And, you know... <sighs> Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. What happens to all the economics? Are we going to still see all the same amount of millionaires? I mean, I know we've, we were seeing a lot more billionaires too. Like you mentioned, there's a lot more concentration of money. Um, how is it going to affect all of that? Uh, so it'll be very, very interesting. I think there's still going to be lots of people that are interested in uh, doing creative projects or passion projects, uh, even if they don't have to, because there is this universal type of income. Um, they want to do more, you know, they're just wired a little bit differently. They still want to do things that are challenging. So I think we're still going to see some of that, but maybe it's, you're going to see that widen a little bit, right? Yep. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. You know, we do love to hear from you. Uh, we like to share our ideas and we like to uh, get info and input from you guys. If you haven't watched our viral Bitcoin all-time high uh, meme remix, check it out on our channel. We've got three of them now. One of them almost has 11,000 uh, views. So uh, we're really excited about that. But that's all we've got for today. You know what? Valid. Bye. Bye.